We have two things here today, and I'm hoping they'll go together. And one of them has a paw print on it. And we're going to take a look next on Mark's Lionel Trains. Hopefully everyone is doing well, and uh, welcome back, or welcome to Mark's Lionel Trains. And we're going to take a look at today, I have two things, I got this from America's Best Trains and Hobbies, and uh, they had one in stock, and they sold it, and then they didn't say, they, he said they didn't have another one, but uh, they actually did, and yes, I did decide to buy the second one. So this is the Alaska Railroad Lion Chief Plus. There's many videos on these uh, these locomotives out there. These little 060 switchers, which are really cool. There's the box. I'll show you the tag while we're opening this up. This was my favorite one because it was red it had the color red on there and really nice colors so i'm hoping it goes with the other box it's really kind of cool let's check that out put that off to the side there there's a look at the box there we'll open it up and i'll show you one thing i did uh with the blister pack on here uh, all right i have this um plastic piece here that it protects the piston on the locomotive. And uh, this thing is always flopping around. You can't really tell where to put it on the box. So what I did is I just took a little piece of tape and, and taped it in there. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure all the new uh, little switchers have this, but I don't wanna lose this piece. You know how I am with the, the packaging, that's for sure. So, all right, let's get this uh, out. And uh, hopefully this will match our second unboxing opening. Let's see. Very nice. I love the red on this switcher. Of the four they released, uh, this is my favorite. And I'm so glad America's Best had another one. There it is, the Alaska Railroad. This is a Lion Chief Plus uh, 2.0, so you can run it with your regular Legacy or your phone or your regular Cab 1. No problem at all. So there's a look at the bottom. These are really, really nice. So let's put this off to the side and take a look at the next box, which I'm sure is what you're all here for. That's for sure. I'm really excited about this box. That's for sure. This is the exclusive run Eric's Trains Caboose from Legacy Station. And uh, I watched the video and he said he was putting the paw on the outside of the box and autographing the outside of the box. And then he changed his mind and started doing the inside of the box. But I got the paw on the outside of the box, which I'm relatively pleased about. That's, it really looks good there, I think. So this is pretty awesome. Uh, these are made in Vietnam. I did uh, pre-open the box here. So getting all the tape and stuff off, I did not look inside. So I am looking inside the first time, just like you are. And there it is. Oh, there's the Eric's Train sticker. Let's see, looks like this is the way we're gonna open it. So this is where it's autographed. Awesome, perfect. Here's your first look at the box with the autograph on it. Very cool, excellent. Thank you, Eric. That's, that's really cool. Love this sticker. I've been watching Eric's Trains for many years and it has really inspired me to start the, my channel um, three years ago now in mom's basement. God bless mom. We, we recently lost her. Thank you all for your well wishes re regarding her as well. And this is interesting um, that the caboose is packaged upside down in the box. So I don't know if that's um, a fact. I guess that's a factory mistake maybe. I don't know. Let's uh, open it up and we'll definitely get it right in the future. That's for sure. So let's pull this out. Take a peek. So it looks. Oh, wow. That's really nice. We had some really cold weather here in Chicago this week, and I was really worried about cold weather shipping and damaging the clamshell packaging. When it gets really cold, the clamshell packaging tends to get really brittle and crack. So, wow. Is that a nice looking caboose? That's beautiful. Let's check the, the red and see. Yeah, it's pretty close. They're going to look pretty good together, I think. 
that was kind of how I, I bought these two to, to run together on the layout. So definitely very nice. Ah, uh, the smokestack, there's interior detail. You got the uh, Frisco there. Excellent, excellent, perfect. I guess it could be Chessy as well. I guess Chessy will be on the other side. I think that's that's how it's done. Oh, there's our uh, really nice. Look at that. There's the underside of the caboose. Very nice. All right. Thank you, Legacy Station and uh, Eric's Trains. This is this is kind of something that I wanted. I, I couldn't really afford the locomotives and all, but this. Yeah, I think is really cool. It's actually kind of expensive. It, I think they list at one forty nine ninety nine or something. I got it for one thirty nine ninety nine. I know you guys are gonna think that's ridiculous. That Lionel prices this stuff way too much, but you know this is one of those collector's items that I wanted to get. So, all right, let's get this on the layout. And there's your first look at it on my layout with the Eric's Train sticker that comes in the box. Really looks cool. We'll. Uh, Get in uh, for a close-up view and take a look at the detail of this caboose. It is really, really cool. And there's a close-up look at the caboose. The detail is just fabulous on this caboose. The, the grab irons, the uh, red detail on the steps, uh, the smokestack. It's just fantastic, the detail on this thing. Uh, I'm going to show you on the underside. There are some switches here, if you can see that. This is the on-off switch, so we'll turn it to on. And then this, underneath, hiding underneath the truck, if you can see it right here, that is the direction switch for which side of the caboose you would like to flash, this side or the other side. On cabooses, I prefer the smokestack furthest away side. So let's see if we can get power to it. There it goes. Awesome. Without shorting out the layout. Perfect. All right. There's your interior illumination lit. Uh, let's see if the light is flashing. I have one light flashing. We'll check that out in a minute. And there you can see the red light flashing. I've turned down the lights a little bit in the train room. Like I said, I prefer the smokestack that is facing the rear furthest with the, you know, farthest back to be the the rear of the caboose. So I'm going to pick it up off the tracks here and I'm going to switch the blinking light to the other side. If I can get my fat finger in there and do it. There you go. Perfect. Let's see if that works. <laughs> All right, let's get this, try and do this without shorting out the railroad again. Okay, looks like we've got it on the tracks again. Okay, and let's check it out and see if it's done it. And there you can see it has done it. Now it's on the other end of the caboose and you can see all the other cabooses flashing away there with my Roy's trains lighting upgrade. All right, now I'll do a little uh, detailed look at see how we can get inside the caboose. See if we can check out some of the people in there. There's a gentleman sitting right there in a seat. And there's someone in the side cupola there sitting. You can see him right there and moving back. There's an empty chair in that window there. So I guess you could put a, another guy in there if you wanted, so interesting. So another reason for this guy looking back is it's the rear of the train, so pretty cool. And there's a close-up of the rear of the caboose. You can see that's a real chain they have there, not just that plastic one. All right, and then we'll flip the caboose around and show you the other side. This is the chassis side. Excellent. Whoa, careful not to short out your railroad. Terrible. That would be bad. Okay, the only real difference on this side that I can see is it has a toolbox right down here. And the toolbox does not open, it looks like, so that's okay. That's all, all good, so. This is a really, really nice caboose. Uh, Legacy Station is sold out of them. Uh, they made 190 of these, so. Yeah, in about 20 years, uh, my daughters will probably have this at a train show. So keep your eyes open. <laughs> and there's a look at the little Alaska Railroad 060 steam switcher. He's really cool. I, I love all the red detail, the red accents on this switcher. It is really, really cool. And there's a look at the front of the locomotive. Number one, the Alaska Railroad number one. So I have to use, remember to do zero one in the controller to get it to to work correctly, so. 
All right, thank you very much. This is just a little quick video uh, this week. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Uh, we're of, up to around 1,600 of you, and that's really, really cool. And I can't thank you enough uh, for watching the videos. Hopefully, uh, you can, uh, you've learned something. Uh, I did uh, replace the other truck or fix the other truck on the Menards Hopper. So I'm going to run that a little bit around in our running session today, too. So, hey, thank you all for watching. And until next time, this is Mark for Mark's Lionel Trains. Thanks for watching.
Uh, dispatcher, we're done for the day. Out.